de mi corazón. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. So we like to put on an entertaining show here, and we like to use language like a lib was literally shaking because somebody said something based on TV. But today, a lib was literally shaking because somebody said something based on TV. Van Jones of CNN says, I was literally shaking listening to Vivek Ron Swamy yesterday. Vivek got the old tin hat treatment. Oh, man, they don't know what to do with them. Vivek Ron Swamy pulls out tinfoil hat and an unhinged debate attention grab. What did he do? Well, Vivek committed the crime of literally committing murder on stage, murdering Nikki Haley's career, saying she wants to invade Ukraine. She wants to send American soldiers to die, your sons and daughters to die in Ukraine, and she can't even name the region she wants to liberate. See, experience is not the same as foreign policy wisdom. I want everybody at home to know that I was the first person to say we need a reasonable peace deal in Ukraine. Now a lot of the neocons are quietly coming along to that position, with the exceptions of Nikki Haley and Joe Biden, who still support this, what I believe is pointless war in Ukraine. Ooh. And I think those with foreign policy experience, one Ooh. thing that Joe Biden and Nikki Haley have in common is that neither of them could even state for you three provinces in eastern Ukraine that they want to send our troops to actually fight for. Look at that. This is what I want people to understand. These people Spicy. have, I mean, she has no idea what Spicy. the hell the names of those provinces are. Look at her wants face. To send our sons and daughters and our troops me, and our military. Wait a second. Look at her face. There's the, there, that's the meme right there. That's the meme. There it is. Look at her face. <laughs> and Vivek pulled this on Chris Christie as well, who absolutely took a beating last night. And this was the funniest clip of the entire night. Check this out. Christie also doesn't know what provinces in eastern Ukraine he actually wants to fight for. Chris, your version of foreign policy experience was closing a bridge from New Jersey to New York. Yeah. So do everybody a favor. <laughs> just walk yourself off that stage. Enjoy a nice meal yeah. and get the hell out of this yeah, race. Let, let when it comes to Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> the savagery <laughs> and we were joined in loving this savagery by terrence williams one of our favorites he's a comedian he has a great channel uh terrence williams saying i'm filing a lawsuit against vivek Ramaswamy because i almost died laughing when he roasted chris christie what he just did took me out i think trump trained vivek for this debate <laughs> watch this Chris Christie also doesn't know what provinces in eastern Ukraine he actually wants to fight for. Chris, your version of foreign policy experience was closing a bridge from New Jersey to New York. Yeah. So do everybody a favor, just walk yourself off that stage, enjoy a nice meal, yeah. and get the hell out of this yeah, place. Yeah, when it comes to Nick... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 baby, baby. Have, uh, have Trump been training you? Trump must have trained you for this debate because that's some that right there was straight up Trump. But Vivek wasn't done yet. Vivek uh, had a uh, absolutely scorched earth approach to calling out everybody on stage as Donald Trump bootlickers, uh, not in a bad, as like a pejorative, but as like they're running against Donald Trump, even though they use Donald Trump to advance their careers and then went in hard on January 6th. Check this out. This debate stage is all three of them have been licking Donald Trump's boots for years for money and endorsements. <laughs> Ron DeSantis, you've been a great governor, but you would have never been one without actually begging Donald Trump for that endorsement. And you attacked him in your Nikki book Hayley. a year ago. Same thing with Chris Christie as a lobbyist, begging them for COVID money for his special interests in New Jersey, prepping him for the debates last time around. These people are now Monday morning quarterbacking some decision he made. I think the real enemy is not Donald Trump. It's not even Joe Biden. It is the deep state that at least Donald Trump attempted to take on. And if you want somebody who's going to speak truth to power, then vote for somebody who's going to speak the truth to you. Why am I the only person on the stage, at least, who can say that January 6th now does look like it was an inside job? That the nice. government lied to us for 20 years about Saudi Arabia's involvement in 9-11. 
that the great replacement theory is not some grand right-wing conspiracy theory, but a basic statement of the Democratic Party's platform. That the 2020 election was indeed stolen by big tech. That the 2016 election, the one that Trump won for sure, was also one that was stolen from him by the national security establishment <laughs> okay. that actually Thank put you. up the Trump-Russia collusion hoax that they knew was false. There's a reason why I'm the only person That'll on the it, stage sir. who can Thank say you. these things. That's what it's going to take, not people who were licking his boots one time and now Monday okay. morning quarterbacking and criticizing him when it's convenient. <laughs> the hosts are like, oh, that's too hot. That's too hot. That's what they said. By the way, he brought up the great replacement theory there. This is what has caused, of course, uh, we started off by saying that Van Jones was literally shaking. I was literally shaking <laughs> listening to him. So what is and, and Van Jones saying? He's going to outlive Trump by 50 years, and you're watching the rise of a demagogue. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what, look, hold on. Hold on. So, Van, do you not like what Joe Biden said? What, what, where was Van Jones when Joe Biden was saying stuff like this? Where was Joe? Where was Van Jones when Joe Biden was saying, "Can somebody prove to me that this clip is fake?" There's Mayor. Watch Mayorkas sitting right next to Joe Biden as Joe Biden outlines exactly what they're going to do: open up America's borders and allow a criminal invasion in this country to benefit them electorally. Watch unrelenting stream of immigration. Unrelenting non -stop. stream of immigration. Non-stop. Non-stop. Non Folks okay. like me who are Caucasian of European descent. For the first time in 2017, we'll be in an absolute minority in the United States of America. Absolute minority. Fewer than 50% of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength. Okay. What, what, like, are, am I allowed, again, am I allowed to believe the words that Joe Biden say? says on camera are you not allowed to listen to the things that he's saying saying an unrelenting stream of immigration forever and ever and it's a good thing that white people will be an absolute minority in this country that's what he said so what do you want and that of course uh, uh, that of course conjoins with dozens of other statements from high up level democrats talking about the same thing now it's for what power that's what that that that's all of this is about. Okay, somebody who is causing uh, Vivek Ranswamy like the, the the this statement and the clips of Joe Biden is causing them to literally shake. Okay, fine. Wouldn't want to live in the crystal little fragile cotton candy world that you live in. Vivek bringing Alex Jones to prep him for the debate was pure genius. <laughs> I don't think that actually happened. But the results sure speak for themselves. Watch this savagery. Back to Nikki Haley. Again, ending Nikki Haley's career. Game. We're talking about that trans issue. And Nikki Haley's campaign launch video sounded like a woke Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light ad talking about how she would <laughs> kick in heels. At the first debate, she said that only a woman can get this job done. That's what oh, she man. said. After the third debate, when I criticized Ronna McDaniel after five failed years of leadership of this party and criticized Nikki for her corrupt foreign dealings as a military contractor, she said that I have a woman problem. Nikki, I don't have a woman problem. You have a corruption problem. And I think that that's what people need to know. Nikki is corrupt. This is a woman who will send your kids to die so she can buy a bigger house. There you go. This is the problem. Using identity politics more effectively than Kamala Harris is a form of intellectual fraud. And it actually needs to end. There's our donor puppet masters wielding their puppet right up here tonight. This is how this game is played. The puppet masters put up their puppet, and I reject the use of identity politics in this party. It has been a cancer coming from the left, and I'm sick and tired of the double standards the people of this country are too. Having two X chromosomes does not immunize okay, you from criticism. You. Boom, baby. Boom. Oh, my God. Just finished. You just can't continue after that. He just ended her career. Will Vivek Ranswamy be president someday? I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell you this, Nikki Haley doesn't ever have a shot ever again after that. And Nikki Haley doesn't deserve a shot, of course. Nikki Haley is for uh, total and complete internet censorship and government control of internet. N Nikki Haley is for every single war, sending our kids to war with Iran. She was a total neocon. And she's an absolute puppet of her puppet masters, the donor class. 
that clearly, clearly do not like America, you or me. Nikki Haley has had some terrible takes and just recently had just awful takes about parental freedom in education. Nikki Haley was on the side of Disney in the Disney battles with Florida. It, it's hard to actually find somebody in the Republican Party that more acts like a Democrat, uh, but in name only, is a Republican. There's a name for that called a rhino. And the rhinos got booed on stage last night. Chris Christie getting a large round of boos. Be able to do because he will be convicted of felonies before then and his right to vote will be taken away. You know, you, look, here's the bottom line. You can boo uh, about it all you like and continue to deny reality. But if we deny reality as a party, we're gonna have four more years of Joe Biden. Boo. Chris Christie says Vivek is an obnoxious blowhard. Ron Swamy tells him to enjoy a nice meal. <laughs> Oh man. No oh, man, I'm all for it. I'm in. I'm I'm in. I think it's great. I just think it's great. Way to go. The future of the party is bright. Like we got good energy. Positive energy. Um Chris Christie didn't just take it on the chin from uh got punches from Ron Swamy. He also took one from Ron DeSantis. We'll close out. Ron DeSantis had a very good debate, very solid debate. Uh check out this uh probably his finest moment. Uh cruise missile straight to Christie. Watch. You will see people fired, and we are going to bring a reckoning for how this government here's, handled listen, COVID-19. Here's what, here's what, here's what, here's what, here's now, Chris, you had your chance to wax yeah, eloquent on Donald yeah, Trump. You've been doing it all this whole race. Why doesn't he just answer was, the question? The question was very direct. Is he fit to be president or isn't he? The rest of the speech is interesting, but completely non-responsive. And if we were in a courtroom, they'd strike the answer and say, Governor DeSantis. No, they you're wouldn't. A smart, they would say that you're a they, smart they would man. Argue that the, no, they would. No, they wouldn't. They would Chris. strike the answer no, they because you're not answering. You it. Just is he don't fit? Like, you is have he your, fit? You have no. your thing. Is he you fit or isn't your he? Thing. No, I don't have my thing. We don't. He's the thing. Is we he do fit not or isn't he? Do someone you're talking that's about him being 80, 80 years old? It doesn't mean that somebody is he fit? Elected. That's the people that are Governor DeSantis left. Ron, is he fit? No, not Governor DeSantis left. Ron, I think we have an opportunity to do somebody who is in the primary. Right. Yes. We don't have to no worry about all the stuff got, with Ron. Stop. We can get it done. Stop. We'll do it. I'm going to come to you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it showed energy, verb, spark, fight, and it was very, very interesting. Uh, we were uh, pleasantly surprised at the entertainment value of last night's debate. Uh, what did you think? Let us know. Are you literally shaking? Stay based. It's your boy, Benny. See ya.